Hi boys and girls, something really nice and special today, nice BSA A7. Let's take a walk around the bike and I'll tell you something along the way. Don't know what, could be anything eh? First off, start feasting your eyes. Those are stainless rims and spokes etc. Now this bike belong to a pair of brothers who race and have won the TT in their class four years in a row. The classic TT as well as many 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 other things and this bike was the first bike that they ever restored. Now the engineering side of things in that race team is just, well it's impeccable really. Came their way when I was buying a race starter, um, which is probably the nicest engineered race starter I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, we bought one. And whilst we got talking, and I was getting to see some lovely, lovely machines. And they were cracking as well, some TT winning machines, some rare, rare, rare bikes in a beautiful, 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 beautiful building. They told me that they'd never sold a bike or one, and that is in a glass case in Japan. They had a lot of gold stars and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I was offered the opportunity to buy this bike, which was the first bike that they ever restored. Done a long while ago, but everything on the bike at that time was new engine was fully rebuilt and it's done nothing since absolutely nothing so bike was rescued restored about 25 years ago the stainless uh, rims and spokes they were done about four years ago and the original rims if you that way inclined and spokes they come with it as well tight as a drum absolutely lovely i'm not starting it for you on this video unfortunately we've um, got pins and plates in my right foot and starting one of these while everyone's watching is against the rules we all know that two rules for british bikes what are they you don't start them in front of a crowd and you don't put your gear on until you're ready to go so i'm not starting in front of the whole world wide web that'd be crackers but be rest assured the bike does run and it runs impeccably but it's not easy for me to work a race starter film this etc etc you get the drift now some of you keen eagle eyes will see it's not all period correct bsa a7 gear some of that it looks like something else we'll let you decide and you decide if you love the bike or hate it but the price of the bike is up for sale for you couldn't begin to buy all the parts let alone anybody complete the jigsaw puzzle that is a bsa a7 so you're going to get something that someone's toiled over made it look nice it's not concourse it's a good 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 usable bike restored in a sympathetic way to be able to be used so you know don't say to me oh the double flange inverted what not nuts not the right way around because oh, so what's going to be the answer a little bit of rippling on the side of the tank there on the chrome bit probably a good dent man get to that um but it's there there's no leaks might have run out of oil because in my experience every british bike leaves a pool just to mark its territory really but this one hasn't done yet so probably it's ran out so that's it you're getting the drift don't you look a picture now if you need it in your life you need it in your shed hey we're happy to oblige so happy to oblige we'll actually bring it to you for absolutely nothing Oh, Boris doesn't want us out playing at the moment, which is fair dues. 
none of us want the lurgy, do we? But you can come here with intent to buy, click and collect, i.e. you've paid a large sum off the bike, or we'll deliver it for free. If you go the click and collect route, you pay us a huge sum of money, you come and the bike's not up to scratch for what you want, we'll just pay you back. But what we can't have is people coming in and doing the old museum thing, having a look. Now we're happy to do that in normal times, you know that, we'll have you in for a brew, stand here all day, talk bikes, and absolutely enjoy every minute of it. But right now isn't the time to be doing that. We all know it, we should be respecting that and that's it. So when, if, if and when you decide to go for it, it's me that turns up with my mask, all sanitised, yada yada yada. So, you know, protect yourself kids and each other. Now in the file for this bike, loads of photos of it stripped down etc along the way. And also, we've only got an older V5. I spoke to the DVLA, it will generate a new one, but it will be a faff for you to tax it in the first instance. But not too bad a faff, you know. We're not talking um, trying to register a new bike or anything like that, because that, that fight's already been done with the DVLA, and it's on its original plate, but that's now non-transferable. So anyone that's dealt with these will understand what that's all about. Anyone that hasn't, I've just told you. So, there you go. No idea if the mileage is correct. 36k, I would say so. Because I didn't realise it even lasted that long, to be honest. But, they did. <laughs> don't have a key for the steering lock, I don't think. I'll double check on that. Again, if you go to the description on the website, therealtoyshop.com, Put the two descriptions together, there'll be lots of stuff in, more information in there about parts, bits and pieces, that's not on this video because I can't remember it all while I'm walking around and we do it in one hit, point it where we need to point it, and you can see. Now, I don't expect anyone may want to finance this, but they might. If you do, we use Close Brothers with quick decisions and decent rates, etc. So, if you do, we're happy to talk to you about it. I'm sure anyone who's man enough to ride one of these is not going to ask his missus first. But if you have, do that before you ring us up and chat to us about the bike. Because nothing more boring than I'm off to ask me missus. If you've got to ask your missus for one of these, there's something wrong, isn't there? If you are the missus and you want this bike and you have to ask your fella, get him asked as well. Because, you know, shouldn't be having to ask permission to have something as beautiful as this in your life. Crikey. Ali Hubs, forgot to mention them. Rare, 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 rare. They're the bit of kit on here that you want. So that's it. Without running her up, you've had eight minutes of me wandering around, poking at nuts and bolts. So say, we're all bikers here. We know where to poke a camera. Um, we've all had British bikes at some point. We've all ridden British bikes. We all know the foibles and so should you. But if you want one that's completely rebuilt, nut and bolt, everything, this is it. This is your kitty. So if you like the little video, click on like or subscribe. That gets you first look at everything before it ever goes on the website. But until then, if you want this bike, you know what to do. Click on that like and subscribe. Talk to us on the phone after you've asked your missus. Then it goes in our purpose-built van, wings its way to you in your shed in whichever part of the country you may be. And I look forward to meeting you when I drop it off. So there you go, boys and girls, that's the bike. Get us called, I'm on to the next. Thanks for watching.